So this is how 90% of the dip bar market is built. It's built with a J hook concept. Now, 90% of them are two different arms. The rest are on one arm and they branch out, but it is still a J hook method, which ultimately just ruins the whole idea because you have to buy brand specific dip bars. And even the brand specific ones don't fit quite as tight as you think they do. So in here, there's still play, it still slips, it will still move. Now also with this concept, this right here destroys your ability to use cable systems, bullet pulley or not. Even if you have a full cable system, you are not doing cable work on this beam now because this has chewed up both beams and they are in the way. With the bullet pulley concept and the bullet pulley dip bar, we only take up one beam. So we still have cable possibilities on this side where someone could do a seated row and you can still do dips as a superset. And it only takes up one beam. All the dip bars are built like this. So we have the advantage on the market with our concept. It will fit any rack, any size, any style, any year and still allow you to do cable movements with a much tighter, snug fit to the rack. Okay, so here we have both patented pieces. Bullet pulley with our patented trough, so it fits any brand, any size, any rack. That's the piece we have the patent on. It is the same for bullet dip bar as bullet pulley. Same concept, it's just shifted in a bigger sleeve than the pulley. So when these are put on, we can use them both simultaneously and it is 10 times more effective than most dip bars that won't fit universally and they have a lot of play and a lot of slop. So here's my rack, which is un unorthodox as it gets. These beams don't even line up with what's available in the fitness world. Um, there is no name brand. Most beams are two by two or three by three. These are neither. These are some whack intermediate, like 2.2 by one. And these holes are also unorthodox. They're like five eighths where most gins are one. So this bullet dip bar by this patented sleeve will draw in tight with this bullet with knurling grip which is hardcore, and it will suction itself to any size rack, any beam, along with the bullet pulley doing the exact same thing. Now, unlike what I just showed you before, I can use this pulley system and do supersets with dip bars because I'm not taking up my whole rack and I'm not blocking any cable usage. So I can set this bullet bar to any height just like bullet pulley. I've got this weighted vest on, which now is gonna to total my body weight at like 210 pounds, okay? So I'm big boy status. I can get up here without any play at all on this dip bar, any bending, any shifting. There is no movement except for the rack. And I can hammer out dips. I can also spin the other way and hammer out ab movements with leg lifts, like, like tucks and I can shift all different positions using this bar and it doesn't compromise your ability to use cables. It will fit any brand, any size and this whole entire dip bar weighs about six pounds even though this thing looks like a tank. So here it is, that's both products, bullet design, patent, pending.